You've heard it before, maybe you already know from experience, investing in real estate builds wealth. And while diving into the world of commercial real estate, investments may seem unachievable, there are ways to start small and build a portfolio over time. To get there, we wanna help you build a foundation of knowledge. Here at Sterling CRE, we want to de demystify the world of commercial real estate. So what is commercial real estate? For something that surrounds most of us every day, there is some confusion about exactly what commercial real estate is and what commercial real estate advisors mean when we refer to different asset classes. I'm Claire Matten here with Matt Millat with Sterling Commercial Real Estate Advisors. By most definitions, commercial real estate is anything larger than a single family home. We include single family homes with things like ADUs on site in our distinction between commercial and residential real estate. An asset class is simply the way we talk about the different categories of commercial real estate. And in no particular order, the categories or asset classes of commercial property are multifamily, office, retail, hospitality, mixed use, land, industrial, and special purpose. So multifamily is any housing with more than one unit on site. That's everything from a small duplex on up to a thousand units in a high rise. For financing reasons, we typically consider anything with two to four units as multifamily, and we use the term apartments for anything with more than five units, but definitions can vary. The office asset class is pretty straightforward. It usually is what people think of when they hear the term commercial real estate. It's buildings with a mix of things like open bullpen space, private offices, reception, and conference room. Retail almost always refers to brick and mortar stores that accommodate shoppers. That could be everything from a little corner bodega to large stores like Costco. Retail spaces usually include restaurants and salons and other service providers. Hospitality is, a, is lodging like hotels and motels and also may include things like inns and resorts. Mixed use is usually a mix of multifamily housing and retail or office space. And one benefit of a mixed use property is the efficient use of on-site parking. During the day when tenants leave for work, parking space opens up for people shopping or visiting the office spaces in the building. As those offices or stores close up for the evening, the parking is used again by tenants returning home for the day. It's not a perfect system, but it does mean that parking lots are used much more efficiently. While it might seem like a more simple asset, land deals can be complex. From brownfield to greenfield, infill to rural, commercial land can require as much due diligence as a large commercial building. Understanding zoning, utilities, growth plans, development districts, and other factors is important when brokering land sales. Industrial properties include things such as self-storage, distribution warehouses, and manufacturing facilities. Industrial is often combined with offices for administrative duties related to the operations of the facility. Industrial space isn't just boring warehouses because it can be used for things like film studios and airplane hangars. Finally, there are special purpose properties. That's the phrase used to describe buildings that don't really fit any of the other categories. An empty parking lot, a golf course, a church, or a stadium might fall into this category. That's a quick overview of the commercial real estate types. We're all surrounded by commercial real estate every day with offices, schools, grocery stores, and even things like zoos. Understanding what CRE is, as well as the different asset classes, can help you understand broader development conversations in your community. Thanks for watching. Follow Sterling CRE for more content like this.